<sighs> All right. It's apologies for the holdup. It's time to start Elden Ring's DLC. Good stuff. So the first order of business is just going to. Well, first I should probably actually change out some of my spells. Yeah, yeah. Let's just push this out, put in all of my defensive buffs, and switch out various other buffs. Let me think. There we are. And then all of these. And Lord's Divine. Why is that one there? The ordering of that is legitimately quite strange. Whatever. Then, I think... Lightning is a good option. And maybe Black Flame and Starlight. Yeah, sure. Okay. It's a decent arrangement, I suppose. And then we go to... Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum. Here, the Cocoon of the Empyrean and good old Needle Knight Leda should be here. And there she is! Funny little DLC NPC she is. Hello there. Hi. Ah, were you guided here by Kaimu Mikkel? I guess. I am Leda. And like you, Leda. I was guided by Faith along his honorable path. By Faith? Touch the withered arm, and you too will be transported. Do see him moving? I don't think I do. Alright. My compatriots are there already. Like us. They have heard kindly Mikola's call. If you can find them, they are certain. If you can find them. Hmm. Come now. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. You sure about that one? Be far behind. May we meet again. Among other things, I will be able Come to. Now, Get a better looking set of armor that has higher defenses while also being lighter. That's nice. Alright, head to the Realm of Shadow. We're really doing it. It's starting. And. Is that the map for the whole area? Here we are. I lands between Shadow Realm. You know, let's get some light on in here. Right, let's actually take that off for now. This and this one is always good. Yeah, let's get this going. Anything else in here? I. What if I go up on this ledge? Okay, nothing. And I right up top you can see some kind of church. Interesting. Hmm. But the only way out is forwards. Okay. Can't do anything silly about that. This oh, and we've got some spectral gravestones. Hmm. Huh. Disappearing when you touch them. There's a furnace golem. Hmm, behold something incredible. There it is, the shadow tree. Gravesite plain. Hmm. First thing to do is definitely going to be to find a... Ooh, find the map. Screens, and here we are in gravesite plain. I think I'd like to switch out Shadow Realm Blessing. Don't have any of those. Deal only get damage, no influence outside the Realm of Shadow. And that's just... Oh, and the Steeds. That's for Torrent then. Not as if Torrent actually deals damage. But that Furnace Gold needs to die. Okay. To get the armor... What I want and need. Let's switch this out in favor of Pest Threads, which is going to be a good way to knock down that Furnace Golem. Okay. 
Then let's mark that real quick. Okay. Get one map going, and I'm not sure how much of the Realm of Shadow it's going to show. And oh! Whew. Well, that's intimidating. It said, definitely not supposed to fight them right now. Map, gravesite plane, map found. Okay, so it's just that. Okay. So let's check that out. Somber plane covered in spirit graves. A spiral tower of the horn sent lies to the northwest, and the entire expanse is marred by the harrowing ravages of war. Hmm. Yeah, I know there is a mausoleum. I'm gonna find eventually. New map found. Okay. Hmm. This inside here, and I know that. I think this plateau is unreachable. I know there are some plateaus in the Land of Shadow that just have nothing in them. Completely unreachable. Is that. Castle Ensis? Hmm. If I get my way to Shadow Keep, I could get the Fire Knight's Greatsword pretty soon. And I think this is the mausoleum with. The best armor I've currently got access to. So I'd like to go in and just start blasting a bit. See what happens. So there's going to be the Black Jail Knight in there who's going to be weak to... Ah, oh, Red Flesh Mushroom. That's everywhere in the Land of Shadow. Red Mushroom grows in stone lands. Easily found everywhere in the Realm of Shadow. Flesh of the Mushroom is similar to raw meat. And serve as pot innards. It's interesting that it's so many bespoke crafting materials for honestly not that good of a reason, in my opinion. They could have easily made things that were more craftable using stuff found in the base game, especially since the recipes are locked past DLC. Here, like fruit grows in a spirit of grass, easily found everywhere in the realm of shadow. Bitter taste makes it, makes it unsuitable for consumption by humans. Rata sound a bit like Radagon to me. That, hmm. I wonder what you might be weak to. Ooh, grave birds are rather frightening. Would not like to have. To, ooh, thin enough that hitting you is rather hard. For a second, I thought you were going to live that hit. Okay. I think that's right. I should put. No, no, not Golden Order Seal. Dryden Colt Seal, on the other hand. Boost that power. Should be. What is that? It's not a duplication coffin. But yeah, that mausoleum over there should have the Black Jail Knight in it. Who I can take down. Order to. Oh, okay. So what is... Ooh, it spits a lot. How do I want to... Two, three... Hmm. Makes me worry a little. Thanks. Two, three... Hmm. Just trying to think. How am I actually going to get inside this place? Just immediately go down. Yeah, it seems like it. So this is just the boss fight and nothing else. Okay. Let's put on a cool helmet. Still at medium load. Can I... Yep, that's good. In that case, let's buff up. Okay, blessing of the Urchery. Golden Vow. Black Flame. And it's just tossing lightning. Okay. I should switch most of this out. Hello. Hi. And... Okay. Ooh, you are rather strong. Yeah, I would like a bit more Shadow Creep Blessing before I do much here. Ooh, well... Yeah, you're bulky, but... The defenses I have are good. That's nice. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, oh, oh, ooh. Mm. Luckily, not like that much in the way of healing or defenses. Thanks. Oh. Uh, uh. oh, you do have a flask. That is not great for me. Hmm. Hi. Uh, how many flasks do they have? This is rather... Let's put this down. And, oh, okay. Golden bow. Oh, alright. Thanks. Okay. Let's... Oh, uh, oh. Uh. What? What? Okay. This is a really, really bad feeling for me. Golden Bow. Dodge. Okay. Dodge. Black Flame. And then we can try to... Uh, okay. Toss. And... Toss. I... Okay. Thanks. What? 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 Uh, just... Dodge. Dodge. Uh, eat your stupid crossbow. Thanks. Ooh, what in the goddamn? This is actually vile. Huh. You know what? Before I go back and get a root arc, I'm just gonna make this work. My entire goal here is to find a way to. Well, actually, you know. Maybe I would be best off just using Godskin Stitcher. Given that this is a NPC type enemy, this really sucks. Okay. Especially since it's not as if I can stance break him. Ooh, that's heavy. Hmm. <sighs> Black Flames Protection. And I guess, yeah, we're going at it with Hewis. Okay. Come on. Okay. Just... Thanks. Continue. Dodge. Stab. Stab, stab. I have a lot of poise, which is good for me. Okay. And... Sab, sab, sab. Okay, we got bottle ass up in here. Thanks. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. You know, solitary moon slash is a pretty good counter. What I've got going then. Okay. All right. It's not expecting this to be that bad. Huh. Okay. Okay. At least he doesn't have it doesn't have that much poise. But that's rather small comfort. Hmm. I that crossbow is just an absolute menace. Thanks. Keep on stabbing and dodge stab. Ooh, we got bleed proc. Okay. And stab, stab, stab. Okay. Thanks. Stab. Ooh, okay. Dodge. Thank you for that healing. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, 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 stab. I, okay. Thanks. And ah, I feel like some way to block healing should exist here. I don't know. Okay. Dodge. It's just such a good weapon for dealing with NPC invader type enemies. Okay. Thanks. And keep on going. Okay. It's that simple. Thanks. And easy enough. Okay. Okay, alright. 
One more will do it. Oh, well. Ah, not if I screwed up like that. This guy. Hmm. I was not expecting the defense is to be that good because is it, HP is rather high, but I thought that he's also taking a lot less damage. It's not just about having more HP, it's having more defense. That was something that I did not really expect when I was looking at how this guy worked, so to speak. But it's going to be nice that I'll have... Oh, come on. Thanks. And... Yep, just use that two-handed... Running... R2. Thanks. Oh, okay. There's the blood loss we wanted. Got our spacing going. Oh. That attack is vile. Okay. Come on. Thanks. Ooh, well that's got actually pretty ridiculous poise on it. I was not expecting that. Okay. Thanks. Stab, stab, stab. Thanks. Heal. And juice that. Thanks. Stab again. And... Cool. Keep on. Ooh, all right. Uh, of course you're healing. Thanks. Stab again. What a great skill. The poise damage on that thrust is just great. Okay. Dodge. Fall up. Ooh, okay. Thanks. Stab again. Should get that blood loss proc. Okay. Good dodge. Good thing you're slow. Okay. Ah. It's tough. Oh, what? Okay. Huh. Oh. And of course I actually ran out of healing. Annoying. Really grinds my gears is just... I forgot to reallocate my flasks. I changed out all those spells and I didn't reallocate flasks. Hmm. <clears throat> but piercing damage pretty much always good on dudes like these so pretty sure that even Verdigris is not the best piercing damage resistance armor to be fair the entire point of piercing damage is that it's good against armor thanks cool you. Thanks. Oh, well. Got cut off. And. Okay. Oh, alright. What? Ah. Thanks? Actually, just despise you. Okay. What? Okay. Uh... Thanks. Fall up and ah, uh, what? What in the? Okay. Hmm. I'm timing that. Something was off with my timing that time. Okay. Come on. Okay. Ooh, that's a roll catch attack. Didn't expect it to be a roll catch. Okay. What? How did that intercept? Whatever. Huh. Okay. Can I... Okay, and go overhand like that. Hmm. Let's run and golden vow. Okay, I... Oh, well. Ah, god damn. Okay, and... What? Okay. We're out of that garbage then. I just... I really, really hate this. Thanks. Stab again. Get that going. Thanks. Ah. 
Dodge. Dodge. Can I... Thanks. Hello, how are you doing? DLC starting. It's actually evil. Legitimately, this is... Just soul crushing. This is kind of a throwaway boss in the first area, and to be fair, what I really should be doing is just running around and exploring. Try to get some stuff, which is not what I'm doing, but that's life. How are you? Well, it... The Shadow Tree Blessing System is more than a little silly, frankly. It is what it is. Well, actually, you're, you're not supposed to really explore around the entire game map to get Shadow Tree Fragments. You're supposed to actually play the game. Why would you do that to yourself? It... I mean, I would say, do you value your life? But I know that you literally have no self-preservation instinct. It... <laughs> So, do you mean you hurt yourself emotionally or physically? Okay. I hate, hate that attack. Yeah, what? I mean, the one, the one thing I miss about having one of your little funny gay internet friends in chat is that when you inevitably get yourself killed, I will literally have no way of knowing. Oh. Yeah, what? Okay. Uh, so if you just spam dodge, won't get you, but... Thanks. Keep on going. Okay. Thanks. It's not an if, it's a when. Okay. Thanks. Dodge that. This is a decent way to... Okay. Come on, dodge that. Keep on going. Okay, so we can stun you out of... Did you dodge your blood loss proc? I think that guy dodged the blood loss proc. Okay, well... Stop being edgy and you might live a bit longer. That said, I don't think you care at this point. Thanks. Give me blood loss. Or not. Okay. Yeah, player type characters can actually dodge blood loss procs. It happens in PvP pretty often, which is comical. Great Sword of Solitude and the Helm Armor Gauntlets and Greaves of Solitude, which are my new best armor set. Alright. Because they have similar or better defense to what I've got on right now, and lighter weight. Okay, whatever that means. Steal a great sword wielded by the knots of the solitary jail through a secret rite. They relinquish their hearts for heightened battle prowess. Next, they engrave their blades with two crests, one depicting the light of birth and the other solitude. Unique skill, solitary moon slash. Sharply slash downwards using the great sword, shooting forward an arc of light, throwing tackle as for an advancing follow up. Chest armor. Plates of steel and bedecked with a black coat. Nameless mausoleums of the realm of shadow are said to hold the spirits of warriors who lost their names or their hearts. Okay. Guess that was a little bonus challenge. That. Hmm. It's actually not better? Well, I don't know. That's the thing. It's a lot lighter, but. Well, it's a bit lighter, but. <sighs> Let me just mix and match to see which pieces are better. It's not better. It's a little bit better while being decently lighter. I mean, only a little worse while being significantly lighter. Hmm. Well, that was kind of stupid then. Oh well. So in that case... I guess I could go around looking for map fragments. Just trying to get to Shadow Keep.
Do you want me to be nice to you? What do you want? Well, you don't know what you want. You've never known what you want, but... Okay. should put away a lot of these... things. Sort this chest. Don't need that. Most of these need to just go... Huh. Scepter the All-Knowing can go, Flail can go, Scepter can go, Sacred Spear Halberd can go. That's really not an answer, and you know that yourself. You can't just spout memes and references instead of legitimately engaging with things forever, you know. Eventually your life's gonna catch up to you. Maybe. You can, but then people... Eventually someone's gonna get sick of it and kill you. And I mean that. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear that. Sorry if that was harsh, but I do not find that meme funny at all. Okay. Uh... There was... I was having a conversation with some people the other day where... We... I don't remember exactly how I got in the topic, but it was with family and we were talking about how very visible, visible the complete cultural divergence between modern men and modern women is. And part of it was talking about slang, and I said, such and such is, you know, a term that a lot of modern women use, such and such. And I, they said, well, that's originally from, you know, gay culture and drag culture. And I just said, well, that is basically modern women's pop culture. Which, you know, for better or worse, it's true. You know, it... I just remember back when I did theater, without exception, every single girl was really into RuPaul's Drag Race. Just without exception. Except for the sheltered conservative ones. And even then. It is what it is. Yeah, it... Well, that, that's just someone self-reporting on being incredibly annoying. But, to be fair, who isn't these days? I feel like... The longer you spend on the internet, the more you just start hating everybody, including yourself. It turns you into just... incredibly misanthropic. Okay. It... Is that not obvious? Especially since... I have a lot of hate in my heart. So I guess Bullgoat is what I'm stuck with for now. That's sad. Alright. Hmm. My question is just... I guess I could try using the torch at this point. Y you would think that after this... Y you would think that after 21 long, agonizing years of life, you would have gotten used to insects by now, right? Maybe. I don't know. Uh... Hmm. Keep on going. Keep on cutting. Come on. Okay, we got Averin arc. That's good. Keep on. 
We could try getting a few more. The big question is whether there are going to be any actually in this place proper. Well, it... What do they do wrong? All, all they're doing is existing. Just put them outside or something. They, they don't deserve that kind of mistreatment. You know, it... Oh, okay, well that's legitimate. The universe really does want you dead, huh? That sucks. Maybe they should just put you on a robot body or something. Probably, honestly. But apparently there are a bunch of Shadow Tree Blessing Fragments that you can... You know what? Let's get a couple more. Shadow Tree Bless... Oh, okay. Well, that's fair then. Shadow Tree Blessing Fragments... That you can get without fighting any bosses. And you know, I'd like every... Advantage I can get. Was it a termite? Do you get termites in Italy? To be fair, don't you get... West Nile virus in Italy? Oh, silverfish. Just just hide them in a stone block or something. They won't leave unless you break the block. It's that easy, actually. It, the doctors won't tell you. Well, it... Alright. Well, thank you for setting up the joke for me. I appreciate your part of the comedy routine. Got a decent amount of rune arcs from that. Which I need. I need a lot for levels at this point. Oh, come on. I was trying to be nice for once. What? West Nile virus? You might also have Danga fever. I just know that... A lot of sort of... African mosquitoes have just started crossing... Flying over the sea. That was something... About a decade ago, I was hearing that various African diseases were starting to make their way over to Italy due to environmental conditions. Because it's, you know, it's a hot Mediterranean place. Yeah. Thank you. Guess I could try to get a couple more runarks before I keep on going. Hmm, how much more, how much more? I think I just need to start running around. But my real question is... Would it be better to put in... Spell that deals holy damage or something in place of... In place of Blessing Spoon or something? Wait, do you have the Sickle Cell Gene? Do you actually have the sickle cell gene? That's crazy. Wow. Oh, okay. Barty, are you just too weak to make good food in general? Just all skin and bones. Nothing for the mosquitoes to eat. Or do you just naturally repel insects somehow? Come on. Let's keep on slashing. Some of that. Let's do one more quick run through to see if we get another rune arc. But getting th three is about as much as I could have hoped for. Actually, you know what? Technically, that's more item drop chance. A tiny bit more just from having that active. Okay. Let's just see what happens. Honestly, what I should do is, if I have a tiny amount, if I'm down to one, I should just use it and then buff back up or something. I... Something is up with connection. I don't know what it is. Hmm...
Okay, apparently it's back. I'm worried. I'm kind of worried. I don't think there's any- there's no storm or anything outside, so I'm wondering what's going on. It's kind of strange. Huh. Well, whatever. Right, right, I think you told me that some time ago. Probably. It is what it is. But I just... Really, really, really hate this. Eventually, ideally, when I live on my own and cut my family off entirely, I'm gonna make sure that I can connect to Ethernet. Put an Ethernet port on the PC for a more consistent connection. See how that goes. But... Life is full of trouble. Oh well. So... I think I will go back to the Land of Shadow and just... Ride my horse around. Probably put on... Discus of Light to try to... Boost my chances. Welcome back. Good to see you again. I get the feeling that... I just might be... Might be a bandwidth issue. The thing about it is... The other people in my family watch a lot of streaming television. Which, given that it's nearing the end of the month, it would not surprise me if... We're just running out of data collectively. We're getting throttled somehow. Which would not make me happy, but it is rather... Well, my sister will be gone in about a week. And honest to goodness, I'm not even sure if she'll come back in the winter. I feel like she's the kind of person who might end up just staying off at college with friends or with family over there. Or just going on a vacation. I don't know. But, for better or worse, I think... It'll always be a while until I see her again. I think at the very least she'll probably go somewhere with friends for fall. She makes friends very, very quickly. Well, we got a good buffer. Big thing is just, I don't really know how many rune arcs you can actually find in the Land of Shadow itself. But, we're going back. I am going to take down some stuff. Connected to hers? Wait, is in Wi-Fi was having that problem? That's surprising to me. Interesting. Would not have expected Wi-Fi to have data consumption issues, at least not most of the time. So let's put one of those talismans away. Put this away. Phones don't have routers. Unless you mean a modem. If you... Do you still have dial-up in Italy? I think you said you had dial-up at least sometime before. It wouldn't surprise me given everything else you've said. Okay. That furnace golem over there... Is going to give... Oh, but that's right. I should put on... Oh, phone hotspot, okay. Yeah, yeah, alright. Wait. If I went up, that's just the starting point, right? I think. That's just where I came out of. Yeah. So this was the entry point to the DLC. There's nothing in there. What's. Uh, I don't know. Listen, the origery is decent. The big thing is that eventually I should be able to get... Where am I going to get the Black Steel Great Hammer? Steel Great Hammer. This going to be a decent weapon. Church of Consolation. And that... Oh, that's close. That's real close. So I could get a really, really nice weapon. Huh, huh. Black Knight. 
Are weak to... Does not say. Very weak against the lightning damage. Okay. Interesting. There are none. Sorry. The closest thing is... There's a twin blade with holy damage, but that's just golden color, and it also would require a funny platforming skip to get. Which is possible, but I don't really want to use glitches here. Not shapeful and resin exuded from the roots of trees, material used for crafting items. Found everywhere in the land of shadow. I okay. True, it's everywhere printed with catalyst, processing sorcery's incantations and the like, and you can use that to make better resins. Okay. Hmm. I really thought that armor would be a bit better than it was. Oh well. So, Lightning Spear on a Black Knight around here will give me the Black Seal Great Hammer, which can be infused with Sacred Infusion to do really, really good holy damage. And what is that guy over there? Who are these dudes? Some kind of stray. Oh, it's a dog that is on fire. Okay. You are normal soldiers. Okay. Mesmer soldier gauntlets. Gauntlets worn by soldiers who serve Mesmer the Impaler, rested crust and filth from fighting an unending war. Come on, they would have tried to kill me themselves. Don't play with me. So, you're gonna drop that axe. They drop a very, very good great spear. Well, the ones that carry the great spear do. Thank you. So that Black Knight in there will drop... Oh, is that poison? That looks like poison. That's amusing. Let's put this on. Oh, oh, well. Because they're on fire. If it hurt them that much, I don't presume they would have been able to keep living. Okay. Let's get this started. Bless up. Golden Bow. Black Flame should be decent here. Very, very weak to lightning damage from what I hear. Hi, hello. Toss. Oh my goodness. Exceptionally weak to lightning. Wow. That. There we go. We got the Black Steel Great Hammer. So, in that case. That going to be two Shadow Tree Fragments, maybe? But that weapon is going to be a very, very nice option for me. Thank you, thank you. So that's Weapon of the Black Knight, Servants of Mesmer the Impaler, Great Hammer, Black Steel, Decorative Embellishments in Gold, Blessed with an Urge Incantation, Further Holy Imbument will amplify the effect and greatly increase the armament's power. Guard counters cons a burst of power, and that is going to be my best way to deal holy damage for a while. It's two of them. Shadow Tree Fragments, Found Across Normal Shadow, Consume its Sets of Grace to Bolster Shadow Tree Blessing. Shadow Tree Blessing bolsters the recipient's ability to deal and get damage. There's no influence outside the realm of shadow. Okay. We got two of those, which is nice. Splinter of the Shadow Tree can hit its golden brilliance. Acquired at the Church of America and other places in the realm of shadow, so they're kind of like sacred tears. Soon as it sets a grace to bolster of Shadow Tree Blessing, yada yada, saw that already. It said that when the Shadow Tree crumbles from its core, that it will scatter across the entire realm of shadow. People of the Earth Tree collect the splinters and use them in prayer. And the Shadow Tree is literally the Shadow of the Ur Tree. Okay, so we can buff ourselves up a little, but I think... What I'd like to do first is just buy a bunch of materials to take that weapon to plus 25. Because it's a very good weapon, especially with the Sacred Infusion. And it has really, really strong guard counters too. And that's... Okay, it's a great hammer, not a colossal weapon, but it's still very, very useful. So... We're gonna need a good number of these. An ass flashback? That sounds kind of unpleasant. Twelve of most of these. Take this. And nine of these. Buy them all now, which is nice. Yeah, why? Did somebody die? Was it you? That's sad. But how do you know? Need 12 of these. That's 
actually not that tough to buy. So we'll just upgrade that, and that should be our best source of holy damage, honestly. Maybe. I don't know. Because it's not going to be doing pure holy damage. So. Let's get smithing. Let's take this up, and... Yeah, further. Wait. Can't check its entry, but that's fine. Oh, they thought you were dead. Okay. Some faith scaling. Or how much this cost to upgrade all the way. It's starting to cost more. Oh well. This. A lot of things in the DLC are going to be decently weak to holy damage, so. There's also a black steel twin blade. So we can infuse that. I think actually maybe we could put a line skull on that. A sacred blade too would also work. Hmm. Either way, we can do a bunch of cavorting around here. Try to make myself stronger. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh wow. Let's take this one shot or two fragment, and oh, that takes two already. Hmm. Let us. Infuse this. So if we put try lion's claw. No, not like that. If I put sacred on it, it gets really, really, really high holy damage. Really, really good holy damage. Claudia will basically kill the holy damage off, which is sad. But good physical, but not what we really want. We want a good source of holy damage. Okay. We're always a shaker, not really. It. You know what? We can go to Hugh and duplicate some of those spirit ashes. I would be happy to have more copies of Lion's Claw. <laughs> Think, given how good it is. Actually, Sacred Blade is good on that thing too, but I think Alliance Claw is probably my best option. We got an okay amount of Lost Ashes of War. Just make three Alliance Claws, because why not? Yeah, better to have too many than too few. Let's find our way around here. You know what? I'll get as many as I can get before I actually have to fight something. Sacred Blade would be decent, but only really for things that are weak to undead specifically, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe. Let's put something on there and... Oh, well, that shows all those Alliance Claws. Now we have... Let's just put Sacred Blade on here. That was Sacred is just real nice. Okay. So here's a good faith weapon. And that's still a medium load. Nice. So... A guard counter is what will allow you to... Make a special gold breaker attack happen. So in that case, in that case... Test that out, but the real thing is going to be to down that Furnace Golem, because it'll give me a... Flask here that will allow me to basically... Parry like Sekiro. It's going to be fun. Come on. Thanks. Ooh, nice. And very, very good. Fun. They drop a nice amount of smithing stones. Let's just try the big guard counter attack real quick. Does it kill with the initial swing, which was good damage, but still. I want to see what happens when I... When that shockwave hits. Anyway, this should be nice against... Some other dudes as well. Hello there. Thanks. Slam. And, oh, that was interesting, but not all that amazing. Okay. Let's try on one of those grave birds again, which is not the same as a death bird. An interesting little thing. And... Thanks. And, yep, they are undead. So that damage bonus versus undead made a pretty decent difference. 
so let's take that for a scroll them down and see what I got next. Said I, Sacred Blade would also work rather well. Okay, good stuff. And that just makes them suffer. Hit with that, but the range on it does leave a bit to be desired, so... Good thing that didn't drop anything, because it would have been inaccessible to me. So this Furnace Golem over here has enemies inside of it. That's life. I genuinely wonder what's up with my Wi-Fi. That's kind of frightening. Here we go. Get a couple more smithing stones. Okay. I really do get the impression that... We're definitely out of data. Because it's not a problem with heat. It's not a problem with a Wi-Fi antenna. It's got to be a problem with just data on this stupid computer. Well, for everyone here. Uh, I can't, because just like rural Italy, it's Monopoly stuff. Pretty sure. Well, whatever. Let me try this out then. Try some pest threads, so the big thing is going to be to hit its feet, but should buff up before we can get this started. Did I? Mm -hmm. okay, golden Vow. Take that there, and we need. Oh, alright. Thanks. Okay. Need to stay away. Eventually, it's gonna start doing big, fiery stomps, which is. Not great for me. But a good old flame protecting me should work well too. Oh, okay. Fun. Flame protect me. Specifically me. Then we should be able to pest the reds its foot down. Oh, okay. Fun. So. Thanks. Hodge. Oh, well, okay. This. What? Okay. Come on. Oh, please. I bet I can jump that. Maybe. But it's number of hits that... There we go. Okay, cool. So let's try a Sacred Blade and... Oh, did I... I messed that up. Badly. Okay. That was annoying. Thanks. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Please, please. Well... All right. Okay. Okay. Thanks. I... Oh! And... Oh, all right. Hmm. So it's basically just number of hits you deal, and... Okay. Thanks. I... Okay, that's good. So where is my... It didn't actually fall down. Heat my stupid chunk of slime. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, how am I supposed to... Never mind. Either way, I need a boost to my... Negation for... Fire further for this fight. Is there a side of grace around here that I can use? Or... I really don't know. Okay. There's one right there, that's good. And I think... Well, my horse is dead. Okay. Ooh, alright. Which means... Hmm. Okay. Somebody's there. Let's rest real quick. And is that... Oh, that's Leda. Hello, Leda. Got a Shadow Tree Fragment and Empyrean Blood Burgeon. Maybe with Empyrean Blood, Golden Blood, and Mikkel of the Young Empyrean Sprouted. Okay. Touch that grace. And rest on the side of grace. Three path cross. Use that shadow tree blessing. Power it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 
So Max is at a plus 15, if I recall correctly. Here she is. Oh well. Now that there's a castle around here, I think that might be Castle Ensis. Nothing much, I didn't kill the golem. Oh, this is Freya, okay. I guess. I am Freya. I once fought alongside General Radan. In battle, you can be sure I'll hold my own. Okay. Oh, another, another thing. thing. Did you speak to our dour little friend? Dower. If you've yet to do so, map of the cross's whereabouts. The cross's whereabouts. Ah, that guy. You'll find more of them dotted, dotted about, about these lands. They are Mikola the kind. His footprints. Hmm. If you've yet to do so, okay, traces path. This is Touch the Cross, Carwards Coalesce. I abandon here the first of the flesh of my body. Abandon parts of himself and this is the horn scent. Bare legs. Purpose is well aligned. Not forgiven. Ah. It's the horn scent. Delivery will come. Says our delivery will come but never will I see your it's kind of Welsh. Okay. Hmm. Yet my, my oath. Timicor? Give you the seek, map. Then, comrade, allow me to give you this. Hmm. These are the sites of the crosses I found. I urge you, follow after Mikila. As long as you abide by his footfalls, you will be no enemy to me. Hmm, so there's our guidance, the cross map. Check in inventory. Okay. So we've met some people. Yep, so that's three path cross, red main fray, and horn scent. See, symbol map dra drafted by horn scent. Locations of golden crosses indicate Mikola's footprints. Okay, on a map over there. Huh. Something here, something up around here then too okay that said i should definitely take that furnace gold down too use that get this started see what happens here hmm. move on and not aggro that furnace gold but get started against it and we need to switch out <clears throat> what flasks i've got Nine and five should be a good allocation. Okay, cool. Hammer is gonna be useful here. So a lot of things. Golden Vow. Flame protect me. And threads is good, but so is Ghost Flame Ignition, I'm pretty sure. So I could actually take Death's Poker back if I felt like it. Maybe. Come on. It's gotta break you down. Ah, there we go. And is that gonna make you stumble or? I guess not. Do you have to hit again or? Oh, all right. Annoying. Thanks. Okay. How much stumbling do we have to try to do? Okay, and do we have to hit again, or? How many knockdowns do we have to get on this golem? Okay, well, alright. Thanks. Well, that killed my horse. Okay. Thanks. And... Oh, please. Well, it... The horse will come back. Don't worry. There we go. Okay, cool. Which means... Let's prep this, and... Go for the crit. Big weakness of holy damage. Hmm, okay, well. Okay. Just have to do that one more time. Okay. He was prepared for this. It's gone to the point. Oh, goodness. Some the steed, well. I think. Oh, well, alright. Find a spot to kind of hide away. 
Oh, well, okay then. Hmm. Can I hide behind this tree? I can hide behind this tree. Let's buff back up. Then another big hit will do the trick, but... Five more Shadow Tree Blessing. I probably could have instant. That's the idea, at least. Could have one tapped. Oh, well. Alright. Back to it. Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. Thanks. Alright. Oh, well. Hmm. Thank you. Ooh, nice. Let's keep on. Hitting. So... Oh. Back down again. But it seems as if there are limits to how many knockdowns I can do on it. Given time period. Good that it kills it for me, but this actually just deals good damage in and of itself. And okay. One more hit. Come on. I guess we can just actually kill this thing with the reds. Yeah, well that worked. Cool. And wasn't fast enough to use that. But, and there we go. Deflecting hard tier and the furnace visage. Deflecting hard tier lets you play like Sekiro. Temporarily enhances spontaneous guard. Damage negation guard points heightened the moment immediately after assuming a guarding stance. Slowly executing spontaneous guard will also strengthen guard counters. It's really, really good with that great hammer, too. Small imitation of the furnace golem's visage. Material used for crafting items exceedingly rare to find. Stored mass surrounded by curled horns, depicting the fellow god of fire that haunts the sagas of the horn scent. Hmm. Oh, and this stays burned for now. Interesting. I don't think they have Halloween in Elden Ring. Maybe that's why... Maybe that's why you don't like the idea of playing it yourself. Maybe. Scorched Ruins. And now the fire is gone. Okay. Guess we could follow some of the crosses, but I like the idea of trying to get to Shadow Keep. So that would mean let me just think. Shadow Keep is in Shadow Altus. Could farm for the Fire Knight's Greatsword, which is also a real good weapon. To see. It's in Shadow Altus. Let me see. Keep on looking. Shadow Altus. Yeah. Well, don't you already scream a lot? So Castle Ensis is there. Is there another way to Shadow Altus that doesn't go through Castle Ensis? Probably from... Raw base? Get over to Shadow Keep, maybe. Skip around Castle Insist by going north from here. I think. Maybe. We'll see. Is screaming just not something Italians do then? I was not under that impression. This would be Castle Insist then, and this? What is this then? That's Billyarat Tower Settlement in Enyar Elim. Hmm. So that's where I could go if I wanted to get the Euporia early. I don't want that though. And, oh, is that a. What is that? What is that guy? Whatever. Thanks. And is this weird dog going to. Oh, the dog is more durable than its summoner. That's funny. So there was a ghost over here. What is he going to say? Okay, so you do scream a lot. Because you're Italian. A white flesh mushroom. So on lands, found everywhere similar to raw meat, so it was pot innards, golden blood, wounded Imperium pooled. Hi. I know all your resentment lingers yet. Raw stuff from which I'll surely forge a curse. Dastard Mesmer's head upon Merica's children, each and all. Alright. That. Uh, come on. Good hammer. Rata fruit. Thin beast bones. Keep on hitting these guys, I guess. It's a funky little graveyard then. Hmm. Oh, please. Die. Good old hammer. A broken rune. 
Broken Faded, Threatened, you Dissipate, and Tire. So that's just a better version than normal small runes you get here sometime. And that's... Oh, sometimes they just have Shadow Tree for Ragnarok there. Item Discovery. Symbolic of size higher apple ones. Currency horn set. Cutting spiral horns with silver. Okay. Interesting. Oh, come on. Die, die, die. I... Get some starlight up in here. My question is just, how am I going to get my... Oh, okay, magic. Hmm. Spirit Gravestone. Except for crafting some things. Found on the gravesite. Why in gravestone started to turn into a spirit? It's a place to which they haven't brought since antiquity. Old gravestones turn into spirits and then fade away. Alright. Hmm. Black Pyrefly, that's Mesmer's Butterfly. Black Cinder Wings, Torn Land, scouted by Mesmer's Flame, Burn and Dark and Slender Ribbons of Fire. Let me see. Question is... How I'm going to get to... Shadow Altus without going through Castle Ensis. If that's even possible. I would hope so. As again, that would allow me to get the Fire Knight's Greatsword pretty quickly. Ideally. So this is... Oh? Oh, there are paintings in here, too. Alright. The Sacred Tower. Wandering Artists. And that's the same base description as... The main ones. Let's see those veils up on that tree. That's fun. So am I going to be able to get down here without... I don't get that impression. Do it. I don't think I will. Hmm. Get over there then. Look my way down and then I hear something. I thought it was some kind of bird, but it might not have been. What are those guys over there? I don't know. There are just so many things that are entirely new to me now. It's pretty cool. And that's the way to bell you're at, presumably. Bunch of these grave birds. Come on. And good thing you didn't drop anything. Get down here. Hello, hello. And, oh well, I failed to dodge that. Luckily I was able to counter attack. Keep on moving. Grave glove ward, okay. Let's go up on that bridge and see if I can use that as a way around. But, hmm. Castle Ensis. Raw uh, base. Then. How to get to Shadow Altus. Shadow Altus before Rowana. Not going through Castle Ensis. South, southeast from Castle Front, a covered spirit stone. Spirit Spring. Fort of Reprimand and Shadow Altus. South, southeast from Castle Front. Covered Spirit Spring. It. Somehow I get the impression that that was intended to be derogatory. I don't like that. I think you're getting a bit big for your britches. That said, I don't know what I'd be able to do to keep you in check. Thank you. Very, very good. It's nice that they're dropping mid-level spirit stones with good regularity. So there's so many weapons and no step ways to upgrade them. That's just that three-path cross. I want to do this relatively in order, but the Elak Great Bridge. So Castle Ensis is where Rolana is, who is a pretty well-known boss. Okay, for once. So every time from now on it is going to be derogatory. Makes sense. With friends like these, you know. Okay. Find myself a side of grace. Maybe. Oh goodness, and this is... Another Shadow Tree Fragment. Thank you. Okay. 
I feel like you're gaslighting me. It's not just because it's funny, it's because it's often true. Let's power that up. Thank you. This is Castle Front, so south, southeast, and we need to find a spirit spring. It's sort of in this direction, then. South, southeast. Okay. I'll try to believe you. I'll try. So the spirit spring should be somewhere around here. A covered spirit spring, which will let me to skip some parts of this. Don't worry about it. It's okay. You don't have to worry about it. Thank you. Good damage. Okay. Do you want to try that deflecting hard tier for actual fights in a bit? Okay, come on. Ooh, nice. Okay, good. As long as you aren't worried. Ooh. It's an interesting delay. Some bolts. Hmm. Spirit Spring is going to be... around here? It... Hmm. Hard to see. I know it's the Land of Shadow, but it feels... a bit darker than it needs to be. Well, whatever. Suppose I'll live. Come on. Come on. Where then? Oh, we got more perfumers. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. Wow. Alright, I thought that would hit. Two. So, that hit. Because it's kind of big and bulbous. But it. I feel like it would be easier to talk about the things that don't remind you of Pokemon at this point. I think you do. You know who really likes Pokemon Platinum? Among other things, Dom. Dom really likes Pokemon Platinum. So is it down here? I think. It's at the end there. It says continue south-southeast. It really is. To be fair, until recently, he was basically collab partner number one. So I think should be pretty weak to pretty weak to holy damage. Let's just see. His blood fiends are nice to fight. Thank you. There we go. Believe me, until well, until just then, I hadn't mentioned him in a while. But I'm sure you knew that. Come on. And two-handed. And another hit. There we go. So these are blood fiends. So eventually they'll drop their arm. A blood fiend's arm is a weapon, and it's actually really, really good. Okay. Hello. Thank you. And slam. Go for that crit. Thank you. And you know what? Maybe the best way to do it would just be charge heavy attacks. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure the Mesmer soldiers stay occupied. Thanks. Oh, well, you got good poise. Ooh, blood build up. And. Pretty easy to stance break. If you say so. Okay. Come on. Hit and. Okay, Mesmer soldiers. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Let's heal up. And hopefully there should be a spirit spin around here. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But occasionally there are covered spirit springs that let you up occasionally. Oh, and we got a dungeon. This is Ruined Forge Lava Intake. Huh. Okay. That's cool. Figure out where I want to actually go. I feel like I could get to and actually fight Rolana today, maybe. Maybe. 
Because like I said, I do want to do things relatively in order, but... Depends on how well that works with what I actually end up doing. So where is my... Is this where that... Jump pad is? Or... I don't know. Again, it's just hard to see. Thanks. Alright. Can I... Oh, so that combined with that Sacred Void projectile. Oh. Sacred Void projectile actually worked quite well for me. Hmm. Broken rune. Keep on moving. And then, and then. Just give me... Give me a way to get up, please. I'm begging. This might be it. You know what would be really nice? A visibility blessing that allows you to see better. That might be poison, but it doesn't matter much because we can just ride our horse. Okay. Toxic Mossling. Large moss animal glutted with poison for crafting items, poison swamps, round and plump like a darling infant. 81. Okay. So... Is this... the way? I think it might be. Because that looks like a fort, and they said something about a fort of reprimand being sort of spot that links up. Oh, we got some Miranda flowers down there. Okay. So in that case, we need to... Oh, funny moss... Funny poison rock. There is... What are... Oh, there are vulgar militiamen in here, too. Classic. Come on. I... Interesting. Hammer is not actually going to be all that good for them. Oh well. Shadow militia men. Oh, so it's different. Okay. Oh, an instant stance break. Oh, that's a brutal attack. Okay. Darkest shadow, worn by vulgar militia men, freshly singed. What same as the one normally, but except. What better place in the realms of shadow event for such an army? Okay. Let me just see. Where is it going to let me get out? That. Interesting. Some Miranda flowers down there and some kind of dungeon. So where then is... my spot? I think this should be another dungeon. Maybe. What is this place? Some of this and that's... Oh, a dew gem. That seemingly rare... No, it glows at night, bosses at the water side. It's like when plants slept on night to do. Using the practice of sprite medicine long ago, you can summon these little fairy projectiles, apparently. Deep purple willy. Syrupy poison, blue fire fruit lycos, nectar oils, and vibrant and sweet velvety sleep. Okay. Suit yourself. But I just want to find my way into... Shadow Altus. Where am I heading to? Then? Well, I think it's gonna be that Cerulean Coast, maybe? Maybe. But this goes up to Ra. That might be useful. That might get me around there anyway. This is Revered Spirit Ash. So it makes Torrent stronger, but I don't use Spirit Ashes themselves. Spirit Ash are those who came before infused with potent spirituality, acquired from courses of horn scent, other objects, which only decorate townships and villagers across the realm of shadow. Where the corpses called tutelary deities, revered spirit ash set to quietly accumulate in the palms of their hands. Okay, thank you. Guess we can use that to just make my horse more durable. Classic. Me when my horse is durable. Shadow Run Blessing. One of those. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's better than the horse dying easily, that's for sure. Hmm. It's down here, but... Jump across that, presumably. I'm wondering how far that goes and where. We'll be fine. Alak River Cave. Just want to see. 
<laughs> Keep on going. Oh, we got rats. Awesome. Very durable rats. Well, I'll be fair, I'm using this instead of... The sword, which... The sword would probably do better here. Oh, a little bit. A little bit better. Oh, a round rock? Just throw these, actually. Round piece of rock shaped by the water's current. Crafting or throwing. Place like riverbanks breaks easily owing to extensive cracking. Very big for an item you can just pick up. Hmm. No, I'm going the wrong way. I want to find my way over to... Shadow Altus without fighting a boss. This is going to be the way. Maybe. Maybe. It is... Rather, what is that? Oh, okay. Ulcerated tree spirit. Fun. I doesn't. E it doesn't even have a boss bar. Some flies. I think I'll just keep moving. Frankly, I think I'll just keep moving. I wonder how much damage they'll take from. Me. Not that much. They're cruelly enemies. Are supposed to engage with bludgeoning damage. Kind of like the similar fly equivalent in Dark Souls 3. Okay. How are they going to follow me? Got more crabs. Mm -mm. Another round rock. Go our way around rock. <clears throat> well, we'll figure it out. Something very golden there. Wondering what that is. That's... Well, I got a bunch of eels, but... Not much else, it seems. Oh, okay. Two-headed turtle talisman. Oh, that one's really, really good. Boosts stamina regeneration very heavily. Two-headed green turtle greatly raises stamina recovery speed. Nutrition and green and small of inexhaustible power. Favorite subject in the land of the tower. To the spiral shape of their intertwined necks. Hmm. I wonder if I can actually find a two-headed turtle somewhere. Probably not. Maybe. So any other... Oh, another dungeon. Is this another dungeon? A river mouth cave. problem is. I really don't. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, I'm hungry and a little bit tired, I think. I might just chill. I think I might want to get to the castle, but other than that, I think... If I get to the Shadow Keep, I think I might farm farm for the sword or something, but that'll be about it, probably. Maybe. I got a decent amount done, I guess. But I don't know, we'll see. I wanna see if I can find my way up through here instead of Figure out where that spirit spring is, because I don't know where that spirit spring is. Oh, this doesn't work. That doesn't work. Okay. Hmm. That's raw. But where is that spirit spring? Sealed spirit spring. Shadow Altus. Doing Shadow Altus skip. 
Nickel is seal. Too close to the shadow keep. Oh, okay. So I shouldn't be doing that anyway. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess... I suppose I should do things somewhat in order. Because this locks off here. Hmm. There's things to do around this area before that starts, and oh my goodness, that's a bit of a lag. Well, the DLC is very, very finicky about the order, really. It's a lot more linear than the base game, to say the least. But, yeah. It was an interesting idea. It's an interesting idea to try to go through like this. It's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think if Wi-Fi is gonna act up like this, I think I might just call it a night. Make myself some noodles or something and work on shorts. Because I also need to do that. Sorry I couldn't go for longer, but thank you for watching anyway. I'll probably be hopping off. See you again. Hopefully, like I said, once certain individuals are gone, there won't be as many issues with data, maybe. See ya. Sonoragon.